I go on a lot of road trips in some very unreliable cars, and the most important part about getting to your destination is being prepared beforehand and having the right things to get you there. And so over the last few years, I have been refining my road trip survival kit, and it's a constantly evolving thing. I'll put a link in the description to some of the products that you can get very cheap and easy on Amazon. But whatever it is that you're driving and wherever it is that you're going, there are going to be some great ways to prepare to make sure that you actually get there. So I'm going to talk through some of the items that I keep in this box and how they can help you get to your destination. But the other thing that you should always have before you head out is the number 305305. And that is how you can contact the ticket clinic. If you get a ticket anywhere in the United States, you can take a picture of it and text it to 305305 and the ticket clinic will start fighting your ticket immediately. They've got a nationwide network of lawyers as well as brick and mortar offices in Florida, Georgia, and California. And they can help you avoid costly fines, risk of suspension, points on your license, increased insurance premiums, and everything that goes with a really bad ticket. They've helped me out of many of them, and that is something that I think about every time I start one of my cars. Another thing that I bring is a tarp. I like to not get too terribly dirty, and I've always found a lot of good uses for a good tarp. The other thing is most of my cars don't have spares, and so I bring a compact 12-volt electric tire compressor. So this will put air back in the tires. It's not going to be fast, but it gets the job done, and I have used them more times than I can count. When I'm on a rally or anything, I'm always shocked at how little people bring, especially things that could become super important, like a very simple first aid kit. I got to replenish this because somebody needed some band-aids the other day, and I was the only person that had any, and that kind of thing comes up a lot on Car Trek, on cannonballs, and things like that. The other thing that I don't normally store in this box, but in a door card or something like that, is an element fire extinguisher. This is a compact way to put out a small fire, especially an electrical fire, that could pop up. And all of my cars are a little bit prone to catching fire, so something like that. You know, they have, they have a bad habit of not starting, and so I keep one of these quick jump boxes. They're not going to start something that's totally dead, but they get the job done for me most of the time. An OBD scanner always comes in handy, and I apologize because this one's gotten a little bit messy, this box. I've got a couple of them, but keeping just a rudimentary scanner helps a lot to understand what happens because all of these cars generally tell me that something is wrong most of the time, and this helps me figure out if it's actually something that matters. Generally good to have some microfibers in case you have to take a picture of a car and it not be as dirty as you would think. This is a tire repair kit. You can have a much smaller one if you want, just some tire plugs and things like that, especially if you're not carrying a full-sized spare. Got me a lot farther than I expected to. These, I've always got some random tools in here and obviously tapes and things like that, but also more of a proper toolkit. It doesn't need to be fancy, it doesn't need to be expensive, but it will help you out in ways that you never expect. And also a variety of fuses. They always come in handy and I've always been very, very pleased to have them. Generally, I end up using them for other people's cars because they're a lot more electronic and technological than mine. I generally take around some Glossit spray, again, with the microfibers to make my stuff look a little bit better. A proper gauge, even if it has TPMS, it's always nice to know exactly how many pounds of pressure your tires have. Just any decent flashlight, an extra iPhone cord or three. I keep an easy pass in mind just because I'm generally going places I don't expect. An air tag, an extra windshield mount, something I've bought, I've probably bought 50 of these things off Amazon because I love being able to see my phone because I don't have screens and CarPlay and all these newfangled things. A nice bag of wire ties, good little switchable screwdriver, funnels, always come in handy. Some hand sanitizer so I can shake all of your hands whenever we meet. I always enjoy that. I put a lot of stickers on cars and so I keep some plastic razor blades in case I need to get them off. JV Weld always comes in handy and we use an awful lot of it. And again, to keep looking a little bit better, a nice set of gloves. Other than a few redundant items, that pretty much is what I carry along with some spare fluids. And if you go out on a trip like this with these kind of things, again, you stand an awful lot better chance of getting where you want to go. 
If you think I've forgotten anything in my list, please let us know in the comments. My goal is not to make money by sending you over to Amazon and clicking to buy a couple of things. My goal is for you to say, Ed, I got where I needed to go because you told me to take this. And the best part about it is that it fits in the small luggage compartments of all of my cars. Whether we're going to the Arctic Circle, doing a cannonball, or just going to buy a car and trying to road trip at home, avoiding all the nightmares of car shipping, it's always nice to have a little bit more than you think you'll need. And I can't tell you how many times I've been able to dig through that box and find the part, find the tool, find the thing that I need. Now also, don't forget your factory tow hook, a tire iron, or a lug wrench. And if you do plan on taking a wheel off, a jack. I don't usually take that because my plan is just to patch a tire rather than replace it. And if it's gonna go on a tow truck, hey, it's gonna go on a tow truck. But in addition to all of this, like I said, do not forget the Ticket Clinic. You can reach them by clicking the link in the description below or by texting a picture of your ticket to 305-305 and they'll start fighting it immediately. They have gotten me out of a bunch of tickets and a bunch of trouble, and that's because their lawyers are everywhere. And that's what makes it easy, no matter where you get a ticket, to have the best possible outcome. Avoid the points, avoid possibly going to jail, avoid everything that goes with a ticket, thanks to the Ticket Clinic. But next time you're headed somewhere, be as prepared as you can. And again, let me know if I forgot something and I'll put it in for the next trip.